everyone and welcome to week three. Uh, overall, I thought you did a really nice job last week on your chapter three ethics assignment and I really enjoyed reading about your observation experiences. It sounds like the biggest issue that you came across was not being creepy, which is definitely one of the challenges of doing observations, regardless in, uh, in what context you're doing them. Uh, one thing that I noticed that several people missed was getting their final project article approved. There were several people who I didn't receive emails from. Um, you'll only get partial credit, but I will still accept this. And it's really important because you need to pick an article as soon as possible. Um, your next assignment using the article is due this Sunday. Um, and so you need to have selected an article and get it approved. Um, on Sunday, you need to turn in a summary of your final project article um, that answers all of the questions on the assignment in paragraph form. Um, so these are the questions that need to go into your summary. Uh, what constructs are being studied and how are they operationally defined? What are the author's hypotheses? Describe the methods. Was it an independent group's repeated measures or complex design experiment? Um, you may need to look forward in the chapters to determine this. What were the independent and dependent variables and the levels of each? How were the groups assigned? Uh, what analyses were conducted and what were the results? And you need to describe the results in terms of independent and dependent variables and what was the importance of this study. Also, as you're working on this, I want to remind you of what you learned in the plagiarism tutorial. And also, I don't allow any direct quotes in papers for my classes, so you need to put things in your own words. It needs to be in paragraph form in your own words. Um, you should, however, use in-text citations to reference the paper. If you are unfamiliar with in-text citations, I have two APA guides here that should help you. Uh, and those are in the final project section on Moodle. So if we go down to this week, um, this week uh, in chapter five, we'll talk about developing survey questions. Um, for your assignment for that chapter, you will be developing um, five questions. You'll post on a discussion forum, five questions that assess the construct Facebook addiction. The questions should be able to be answered on the scale of strongly agree to strongly disagree. And once you've posted your questions, you need to respond to at least two other people's posts and give them a thorough and constructive critique to help them improve their questions. There's also an extra credit opportunity associated with this chapter that's located under the assignment. In chapter six, we're going to be coming back to experimental designs. So you might want to review independent and dependent variables and the other important components of an experiment that we talked about in chapter two. This is a really important chapter, so you actually have two assignments based on the chapter, so plan accordingly. Uh, in the Schellenberg assignment, you're going to read the Schellenberg article um, and then identify the important constructs that are defined in the chapter. So there's a number of follow-up questions. Um, and then in the independent groups assignment, you have another brief summary of an experiment and follow-up questions to answer. So as usual, please contact me if you have any questions and have a great week.